Okay, we're going to roll this concrete right now. You need to use a tough coat roller. It's an open cell foam roller, and what it does is it takes the rubber granules and disperses them onto the surface. We're going to coat a concrete area here. The primer's dry. We already primed it with the CP10 primer, which is for concrete, wood, and fiberglass. The same roller technique you will use whether you're rolling it on a boat, whether you're rolling it on a deck, whether you're doing concrete, wood, it's the same principle the way I'm going to show you how to roll this. But you have to use a tough coat roller. If you use any other roller and it smears it, and you're going to call me up and say I've got these big blobs of rubber, that's why. You've got to use a tough coat roller. So what I do is I stick it right into the bucket. The bucket's been mixed very well. I stick it right in there. I spin it around a little bit, get material on it. And then I go right to the surface. Back to the bucket. Load the roller completely. Show this. And go back to the surface. And you don't need to sit there and baby it. Just get a little, get it down, put a little bit of pressure back and forth. You can kind of see how nice that looks already. Go back to the bucket. Another pass right next to it. Back to the bucket. Another pass. And after you get, you know, four or five passes down, you can cross roll it. Because all we're really doing is, is moving material from point A to point B. So now I'm going to come across this this way. And it just helps blend it. And just blend it together. Very simple. So now I'm going to do four more passes. Exclude the, the grass and stuff if you can. So you get all these passes down. Now I'm going to blend this this way, just like I did the first four to five squares or passes. Then I'm going to blend them into each other. And that's your first coat. Now you're going to put two coats down. So on your second coat, you're going to do the exact same thing right over the top of this. Except you might start out this way and then roll your and then back roll it going the opposite way. And it'll blend it out. Once you get your second coat on, it makes it stand out. You get plenty of grit. It's nice and thick. It's exactly what you want. Do not put one coat down of tough coat. It'll be too thin. It'll wear through. It's it's not going to be durable. It's not going to give you the look you want. I've had people call me before saying, hey, we bought 20 gallons, we got 10 left. Well, they didn't put it all down. If you guys take and measure your project and you buy the right amount of tough coat, use it all. Maybe save a little bit for some touch-up.